Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce here, Traveling with Bruce. Uh, this video is all about Jennifer and I going to Amsterdam and uh, looking at buildings like this that seem to be tilting into the street. Uh, what a unique place. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the hotel we were staying at in Amsterdam. And first of all, let you know, we could walk to the hotel from this building, this big brown building you see in the background there. That is the central rail station of Amsterdam. And in front of it is a canal. Of course it is. And uh, you've got boats coming and going. You have trams coming and going, buses, cars. And in the background, you've got trains. <laughs> it's, it's the most unique city uh, that uh, you could ever visit. And uh, if you ever get the chance, I'd highly urge you to do it. Inside the station, hustle and bustle, people coming and going, uh, catching you know regional trains, international trains, you name it. Uh, you can sit here for hours and just watch the people come and go. But just off the station, here is the hotel we stayed at called the Amrath Hotel. And look at all those flags up there. They're not of countries, although that triple X flag actually is the city of Amsterdam, believe it or not. And... Uh, I believe the flag just behind it, that three-colored flag, was the flag of the Netherlands. But this building here, unbelievable. Uh, the highlight of our trip uh, so far, this is the, the suite we had, and I'm not kidding, a suite. Came into this room here. This was the master bedroom. Um, very high ceilings. they got to be 15-plus feet high. There's a living room off to the side there. We had two flat screen TVs in this unit. Uh, I, I thought I'd walk in here, show you a little bit of what it looked like. Uh, here's the king size bed. And uh, I headed to the uh, headed to the window and uh, I took a video clip here, a couple of them actually over my stay, just to show you this is what you're looking out of. We're on the, th they call it the third floor. But with 15 or 20 foot high ceilings per floor, you know, you're probably on the fifth, sixth floor of a North American building looking out over this canal and uh, the museums down here. Unbelievable. What, a, what an incredible view. This building that we're in, this hotel, was once and was originally created as an office building for seven of the leading shipping companies out of Amsterdam. If you wanted stuff imported or exported out of Amsterdam, you came to this building or you had an agent come here. And this is the living room we had, which probably at one time would have been an office. It's a corner office. Um, and a lot of it is still kind of original. A lot of the woodwork, a lot of the lighting, uh, the fixtures, of course, the furniture now, you know, modern day living room type furniture, obviously. But in the corner here, which we couldn't go into, is a door. We think it was a uh, a bathroom. This is just behind me now. Uh, but this here is um, an incredible view. There's a fireplace behind that little table there, that little glass table. And they also gave us this little remote control unit here. They said, just hold the button down, see what happens. So we, we hold the button down, and oh, yeah, that's how you close the curtains when they're 15, 20 feet high. Although <laughs> you can imagine the weight of those things. My God, incredible. Uh, it was incredible. This this room was really something else. Um, we were upgraded to this room because we had been given a room earlier the evening before, and it was very hot, and uh, the air conditioning wasn't working very well. We had no view. We were basically in the basement of a building looking at parked cars. Happened to run into the concierge and mention that we weren't all that thrilled with our room, and after breakfast, he said, well, why don't you come with me? I, I, I might have something for you. So he brought us up here showed off this room including this bathroom here big big soaker type tub right there and then a walk-in shower just behind it yeah this is okay uh, i'm giving you the thumbs up yeah yeah i like this place and uh we uh we snapped this one up no extra charge we got upgraded to this place it's not i'm not going to say it happens to everybody but i did happen to mention i have a traveling youtube channel and uh and I would be more than delighted to uh, review this hotel. And so here we are. I'll tell you, uh, love it. There's another shot of the outside. Uh, we could not, Jen and I could not get enough of this. We could not get enough of watching this constant boat traffic coming and going along the canal. 
um, just uh, across the way from us. Uh, absolutely wonderful. In the evening, you close the windows, close the drapes. It's dark, quiet. You sleep wonderfully. Daytime, open it up. Let the fresh air in. The sounds and the street sounds of the of the city and all those. Look at all those ships there. I'll go here. Some you know fast time lapse for you. I only have a few seconds of this. Very cool. We were walking down the hallway one day, and and the concierge said this building is a museum. It really is. And this was and still is a conference room. And this was the conference room for these shipping guys. Look at the uh, ornateness of this chandelier. I mean, unbelievable. The uh, power these people had, the money they were making. You know, back in the early, you know, late 1800s, 19, early 1900s, this was the way you traded internationally. You needed outfits that had boats, ships, and crews. And these guys here were cutting edge. They were operating these kinds of vessels here that were now powered by bunker fuel or coal and could now ply the world. And the Netherlands was one of the leading countries for trade around the world. The, the artwork in this building, the woodwork, the stonework, just reeked of money. I mean, you could just feel how much power these guys had and how much sway they had. This here is a series of videos I made of the grand staircase from the main floor up. Now, the building did get built with elevators. Um, uh, there's an elevator system in here, and today they've modernized it again with modern day type elevators. But here you can see the names of the actual shipping companies um, that are represented here. And, and uh, here's, here's a map of the world. Um, and I'm trying to, I was zooming in on various parts of this stained glass. Uh, artistry it's, ju it's just amazing I mean it, you cannot you can't spend enough time in here to see all the details of the uh, the glasswork the woodwork uh, the craftsmanship it was just amazing there's there's a cr cruise line there Lynn and Aloha and Okita o I can't even pronounce this property you know I'm blowing it um, their logos uh, in 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 uh, letter form um the detail that went into this. Uh, I, I kind of look at this building and kind of consider it more like a chamber of commerce building. It was where a lot of business got done. And something tells me that if you were trying to organize an importation or an exportation of goods, raw materials, you came here or you sent an agent on your company's behalf to come in here, one of the brokers. And uh, you got your uh, customs paperwork cleared here. You got your, uh, you got the, uh, you know, the uh, fare figured out, the timing figured out. Um, on and on it went. I mean, just the logistics of trying to move thousands of pounds of goods between Europe and uh, the West Indies or the New World. Or, or import something from China to here via ship. This is the building you would have come to. And the guys and girls, but mainly the guys who worked here, would have been the experts to get you your goods. And uh, the amount of profits these guys made was evident by just this building alone. Look, look at that. I tried to get the whole shot in for you, this whole ceiling. I can't do it. I mean, it, it's, it's next to impossible to show you the grandeur of this uh, phenomenal staircase. Um, here's one of the old elevators, I think, from the uh, 1910-20s. It's a, it's a two-person elevator. The door opens up, you go inside, and then you close the door behind you, hit a button, and then you watch the wall in front of you move <laughs> as you're going up and down. It's incredible. The flooring and, and the granite work on the walls, uh, amazing. Um, it really made it an interesting stay for us. Uh, we could not, Jen and I could not get enough of this room. We just kept coming back here every couple of days as the changing conditions uh, went, you know, as a, the, the, the sun was rising in the sky or you'd have a cloudy day, this room would look completely different, this entire area. But you can see here these, uh, the names of the shipping companies are up at the top there and uh, all etched in uh, forever.
into this uh, building and uh, apparently uh, this building ran for quite some time the the uh, this building became a hotel in 2000 i believe in 6 2006 about 16 years ago and uh, they spent quite a bit of money obviously to uh, to make some modifications to the building but not too many they didn't want to touch this stuff they wanted to leave this alone so you were really literally inside a museum uh, to be in this hotel and I, I cannot cannot recommend highly enough uh, to come here you'll enjoy it uh, you'll spend hours just wandering the halls <laughs> we went to the uh, marine museum nearby uh, about an eight euro um, uh, ride away uber ride away and I saw this huge painting of these ships uh, these period ships and there's the building there is the Amrath building as it was interpreted by this artist way back in the early 1900s and uh, that canal in front of us now is all tamed out where here you can see all the ships coming and going there were warehouses everywhere I found this painting and I zoomed in on this guy hanging on for dear life and his buddy trying to get him up into the ship and then I zoomed out I want to give you an idea of how huge this painting is it's a it's basically a battle scene it's a naval war uh, battle scene here at the uh, at this marine museum and the further you pan out to realize you get to realize good god look how big this thing is it, it, it's got to be eight feet across uh, three four feet high a huge panorama so th- those two guys in the bottom little corner there uh you can't see them anymore i mean this this is an amazing naval battle i couldn't even get the whole picture in you really have to go and check this museum out. It's pretty darn cool. You can take all the time you want. There are dozens of these kinds of uh, Ill, uh, of these paintings. Absolutely amazing the uh, uh, the way it was way back when. Amsterdam, fantastic city. Really enjoyed it. Um, you can spend uh, weeks here. Um, it's a perfect city no matter what your age. Uh, of course, Amsterdam is uh, extremely popular with the backpack crowd coming right out of uh, high school into university or taking a gap year or whatever just outside the window of the uh, of the museum is a, an old uh, well it's a new old ship of course look at that it's it's uh, that's not from the 1700s but a replica and you can go on there walk around all you want and check it out that building behind it that looks like a ship there behind there that's actually a building and it's a museum as well and uh, you can walk on top of it. Look at that. Look at that. I'm zooming in on all those folks walking around up there and running around up there. Amsterdam is a fun place. Uh, whether you're a kid with mom and dad or whether you're a teenager or whether you're a 20-something, uh, you're a newlywed couple, something like that, uh, you're uh, traveling alone before having kids, uh, dropping kids off with mom and dad for a week and coming out here on your own, I'll tell you. Or you're empty nesters like Jennifer and I coming out here here's norwegian uh, norwegian cruise line had a ship coming in dropping off and picking up another load of passengers from amsterdam and so that's just a block away from our hotel and from this museum i happened to catch that out of the corner of my eye and i thought oh i better better grab that check that shot out for everybody but uh what an amazing place so the the uh, as i say the train station just down the street from the amrath hotel it's uh, you take a cab ride or an Uber ride, it's about six, eight euros to get over there. We, we had four bags, and when we left, we just took an Uber. There was no way we were going to walk back the second time. But um, it can be done if you're young enough and you're fit enough. But if you have uh, mobility issues like Jen, then you want to you wanna get a ride over there. Let someone do some heavy lifting for you. But beautiful place, fantastic hotel. I cannot recommend it more than I have. The Amrath Hotel, A M R A. TH five stars, a an amazing hotel. Check it out. Thanks for watching us today. You take care. Bye for now.